There we go. Once again, it uh, we get live now. Moving around, a shot is made, so it'll take a timeout. Nine to nothing, your score. As it will be the media timeout charged as a 30. I'd like to thank someone down there. Totally got started. Should be, it should be going. Our stream should be going. Once again, uh, we've had this problem before where it should be good. Sometimes when we hit the uh, go live button, it asks me if I want to go live. Most of the time I say yes, but apparently I forgot to hit the button. Still, full game is there for everyone that is just there. Um, 2.52 remaining here, 9 to nothing. As we're get finally getting stuff going, we'll see if that actually uh, worked. I believe we should be going. Miles, why don't you uh, remind me to hit the go live button? <laughs> oh, hey, man. Once I add this up, this is my 10th, <laughs> this is my 12th hour of working today, so <laughs> everything's great. 252 remaining, 9 to nothing, your score. As Coach Andy Rodefer trying to talk through, try to get some offensively going once again for this JV squad. That will be the end of the media timeout. Coming out of the huddle. Madison McGrew out there with Presley Brent, Daisy Crow, Sierra Shannon, and Abby Nelson. Madison with the ball. She'll cross half court. Go to look to drive. Kicks it out to Nelson. Right back to Madison. 2.40 remaining. As that one's going to be stolen. They're going to look to drive and will miss. Rebounded, but that one will fall. Sienna Mayer on the shot. Madison with the ball. She moves around up top to Presley Brandt. Presley will... Lose that one. So fouled on the shot. Two shots Olivia for Kappas. Eleven to nothing. Your score. Two ten. Second team foul on the Spartans. First shot by Kappas is in. Gives her five on the day. Second shot by Kappas will fall, so she'll get both of them. Makes it a 13-0 game. Madison with the ball. Moves around, gets a screen by Brant. In the corner, passes back up to Presley. As Nelson's going to try and find somewhere to go with it. Up top to Brant. Daisy Crow down low. As Brant's going to try and get someone to help. Madison caught in the corner. Moves it over and will step out of bounds is Sierra. So turnover BPC, 141 remaining. Check it out. Callie Kramer and Katie English in now for Abby Nelson and Sierra Shannon. Kappas swings over to Hines up top. That one's going to be tipped but still caught by the Indians. Three-point shot will fall. That is Kennedy Hare on the three. So 16 nothing your score now. Indians with the lead. Oh. 
Calliott loses that one as it's tipped. Here with the drive, that one misses. Going to be rebounded, put up, missed. And fought for down low as Kelly Kramer goes down hold, full turtle position to hold that ball. Possession, Brimfield with the jump ball. 55 seconds remaining. Hare looks to drive, and she'll lay that one up, blocked by Madison as another fight for the ball. It'll be jump ball, BPC ball. Forty-seven seconds remaining. Sixteen nothing. Your score. Madison moving the ball up top to Presley. Daisy goes down to Katie English. Katie trying to find something up top, and she'll get the ball pretty much stolen right out of her hands. It will be a jump ball possession. Brimfield. Twenty-nine seconds remaining here in this first quarter. Sixteen nothing. Your score. Capis swings over three-pointer. That one goes out. Troxel with the three-point attempt, and they'll say Brimfield ball with 15 seconds remaining. Capis looks to drive, and she'll, oh, right off the face of Hines. So it will be stolen by BPC. Six seconds remaining. Madison has the ball. So Moves over, last second at shot attempt, and that's going to be off. So at the end of one, it will be 16 to nothing, your score. We'll take a quick break. Be back right after this. MDH has committed to having a top-notch OB-GYN unit. The new facility, the Dolores Cater Schweitzer Women's Center, this is a quality facility that the patients need to match the quality of care. And then we also have a new clinic, which is state-of-the-art. And here at McDonough, we have a team. And everybody feels like they're a part of the successes that we have. We have a strong team in our office and in labor and delivery. You will get the best care at McDonough District. We're always moving. Scratch that. We're always moving forward. But forward can sometimes look a little backwards. Or like circles. Or like nothing at all. But we never stop. We never stop. Because life never stops. It's hard to stop a train. Welcome back to BPC High School as we get ready for the second quarter of action here. 16 nothing. your score. Two fouls to one when it comes to Spartans Indians. As Kelly Kramer has the ball, swings over to Abby Nelson. English on the corner, skip pass over to Daisy Crow. Cannot get a hold of that one, so it will be Brimfield ball. 5.49 remaining here in this first half. She moves the ball around, up top. As that one's gonna be over, tipped out of bounds, so Brimfield ball. Hare with the ball, looks to drive. She lays that one up and that one will go out. Rebounded by Katie English. Skip pass over to English. Brant with the ball. 5-10 remaining. Callie Kramer going to try and drive. Abby Nelson with it. Daisy goes into the corner. Daisy with the roll, and that one goes up, and that one misses. They fight for the ball. Callie with it. 440 remaining here in this first half. 16 to nothing. Your score. Abby Nelson with the ball. 
as they move the ball around. Callie moves it over to Daisy Crow. And she'll go blocking foul. So on the ground. Chloe Fabry with the foul. Second team coming in for BPC, Sierra Shannon and Madison McGrew. Sierra Shannon down low in the block. Passes over to Callie. She about loses that one. And it will be a jump ball. Possession Indians. Four twenty-two remaining in this first half. Sixteen to nothing. Still your score. Troxel looks to drive, lays that one up, and gets fouled on the way up. So two shots. Number ten, Madison McGrew, her second foul, team third. Two shots for Troxel with 4.11 remaining. First shot will be off. Checking in for the Indians, number 25, Ava Himes. Ava Himes and Olivia Kappas in for the Indians. And that one will fall for Troxel. 17 nothing. your score now. Madison McGrew with the ball. She moves it around to Shannon. Skip pass over to Callie Kramer. Madison can't get a hold of that one as she loses it. Kappas with the steal. Pulls it back out on the corner. Finds Troxel up top. Troxel swings it back around. Shot, this one will miss. It's going to be fought for, and they'll be out on Shannon. So Brimfield ball, 332 remaining. Kappas taking the ball out. Swings it over to Mueller. Kappas with the long two will miss. Rebounded by Crow. Three twenty-two remaining here in this first half. Crow with the ball as that one is stolen by Kappas. Kappas swings it around, misses on the turnaround, finds herself back up top. Moving the ball around, Troxel with it. She's going to drive, will miss that one, fouled on the way up. So two shots for Troxel. Sierra Shannon on the foul. Fourth team foul. First shot for Troxel will fall. Two for three so far on the day at the line for Troxel. Presley Brandt and Katie English coming in for the Spartans. 2.59 remaining here in the second half. Excuse me, second quarter. Troxel, Troxel's second shot will fall as well. So they'll take the media timeout, and we'll take a break and be back right after this. MDH has committed to having a top-notch OB-GYN unit. The new facility, the Dolores Cater Schweitzer Women's Center, this is a quality facility that the patients need to match the quality of care. And then we also have a new clinic, which is state-of-the-art. And here at McDonough, we have a team, and everybody feels like they're a part of the successes that we have. We have a strong team in our office and in labor and delivery. You will get the best care at McDonough District. We're always moving. Scratch that. We're always moving forward. But forward can sometimes look a little backwards. Or like circles. Or like nothing at all. But we never stop. We never stop, because life never stops. It's hard to stop a train. 
I became a nurse practitioner because I wanted to do more, I wanted to learn more, um, actually have more um, hands-on individually with patients. The rewarding part for me is that I get to come to work and learn something new every single day. Welcome back to BPC High School. 2.59 remaining in this first qu quarter, excuse me, first half. 19 nothing year score. Sierra Shannon with the ball. That one is stolen by Brimfield. As they're going to pass it over to Ada Hines, and Hines will travel at half court. So it will be Spartans basketball once again over on the corner. Nelson takes the ball out, passes to Madison. Nelson with it in the corner, down low to English. English is going to drive down. She's going to let that one go up and get fouled on the way. So two shots. Sienna Meyer, her first team third. Two shots coming up for Katie English. First one will go in. And she makes both. So 19 to two, now your score. Kappas brings the ball across half court, gets past Abby Nelson, goes down low, swings the ball around. Inside to Hines, passes right back out. She's gonna put one up and that one will fall. Ava Hines, Ava Hines with two. 21-2. Two ten remaining as Madison swings it over to Brant. Madison with it. One fifty seven remaining as Nelson Bout loses control of it. However, swings it right back around to Madison, over to Sienna, and that one will miss. Sierra misses on the three. One forty four remaining here in this. Second period, 21-2, your score. Two-pointer will be missed, rebounded. It's going to be almost stolen by Madison. Kappas with the shot, and that one is off, and it will be on the ground. Will initially be rebounded by the Spartans. However, it will be a jump ball, Spartans ball. One twenty-one remaining here in this first half. 21-2 your score. Madison McGrew with the ball. Down low to Katie English. Can't get a hold of that one. Stolen. This time by Sienna Mayer. Kappas with the shot, and that one will fall for three. Madison looks to drive, kicks it back out to Shannon. Three-pointer for Shannon will miss. It's going to be try to be saved by Nelson, but just can't get a hold of it. So, Callie Kramer and Daisy Crow coming in now for BPC. As they give Abby Nelson and Katie English a break. 39 seconds remaining in this first half. Kappas with the ball. Moves it around. Swinging out to the right side. Down low as Hines' shot will go up and miss. She'll get her own rebound. She'll try it again. This time rebounded by Shannon. Shannon finally gets Madison the ball. 18 seconds remaining as they find Presley Brant in the corner. 12 seconds remaining as Daisy Crow's three will miss. So Indians ball with 10 seconds remaining in this first half. 24-2 your score. Kappas brings up the, sh the ball. 
She's going to let that one up. And blocked by Madison. Madison has the ball with one second remaining. And she'll dribble it out. So at the end of the first half, 24 to 2, your score. We'll take a quick break and be back here for stats right after this. We're always moving. Scratch that. We're always moving forward. But forward can sometimes look a little backwards. Or like circles. Or like nothing at all. But we never stop. We never stop because life never stops. It's hard to stop a train. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local Country Financial representative whose door is always open to work with you. MDH has committed to having a top-notch OB-GYN unit. The new facility, the Dolores Cater Schweitzer Women's Center, this is a quality facility that the patients need to match the quality of care. And then we also have a new clinic, which is state-of-the-art. And here at McDonough, we have a team. And everybody feels like they're a part of the successes that we have. We have a strong team in our office and in labor and delivery. You will get the best care at McDonough District. We're always moving. Scratch that. We're always moving forward. But forward can sometimes look a little backwards. Or like circles. Or like nothing at all. But we never stop. We never stop, because life never stops. It's hard to stop a train. Dry needling is where you insert a filiform needle into a muscle, a tendon, a ligament, um, sometimes a bone, and it promotes blood flow and circulation so that it heals that particular painful area. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local country financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. I became a nurse practitioner because I wanted to do more, I wanted to learn more, um, actually have more um, hands-on individually with patients. The rewarding part for me is that I get to come to work and learn something new every single day. Some farmers I know swear by a name, say they'd never operate anything else. Well, here are a few names for my Fent 900 Gen 6 series. Fuel saver, time maximizer, game changer. I like those names. I chose physical therapy because I knew I wanted to be in the healthcare field. Um, I wanted to be able to help patients in some way re uh, related to uh, more in depth. We get to know our patients and that's really uh, what kind of sets us apart. My MDH Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation does more than just tape ankles. They get us back on the court. My MDH Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation helps me reach peak performance in the weight room. Prepares me for competition. My MDH Physical Therapists and the fitness programs MDH offers help me on my road to recovery and improve my quality of life. Come see why MDH Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation was voted best of the best in McDonough County. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, 
your local country financial representative whose door is always open to work with you. MDH has committed to having a top-notch OB-GYN unit. The new facility, the Dolores Cater Schweitzer Women's Center, this is a quality facility that the patients need to match the quality of care. And then we also have a new clinic, which is state-of-the-art. And here at McDonough, we have a team. And everybody feels like they're a part of the successes that we have. We have a strong team in our office and in labor and delivery. You will get the best care at McDonough District. We're always moving. Scratch that. We're always moving forward. But forward can sometimes look a little backwards. Or like circles. Or like nothing at all. But we never stop. We never stop. Because life never stops. It's hard to stop a train. My MDH Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation does more than just tape ankles. They get us back on the court. My MDH Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation helps me reach peak performance in the weight room. Prepares me for competition. My MDH Physical Therapists and the fitness programs MDH offers help me on my road to recovery and improve my quality of life. Come see why MDH Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation was voted best of the best in McDonough County. Welcome back to BPC High School for the halftime show here on TSSR Game Time Live. 24-2 is your score at the end of the half. Stats for the Brimfield Indians. Olivia Caps with nine. Five for Ava Hines. Four for Sienna Meyer. Three for CJ Troxel. And three for Kennedy Hare. For the Spartans, Katie English with two. About 128 remaining here in this halftime as the Spartans get back onto the court. TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH is brought to you by King Family Chiropractic. King Family Chiropractic with locations in Bushnell and Macomb supports Bushnell Prairie City Athletics. They offer office hours in Macomb Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Bushnell Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. To set an appointment, call 309-837-MYDC or 6932. They also perform DOT and CDL physicals for just $85. Also brought to you by Mar Farmers and Merchants State Bank of Bushnell. For over 100 years, Farmers and Merchants State Bank of Bushnell has been servicing the local community's needs for a personal and business bank, as well as home and agricultural lending at its trust department stop by the main branch at 484 East Main Street or the drive-up facility on Cole Street to learn more. FNM is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Also brought to you by Web Family Farms. Web Family Farms has been growing corn, soybeans, and Spartans for five generations. Nathan, Lisa, Jamie, Cyrus, Terry, and Linda wish all BBC athletes good luck this season. Also brought to you by M&B Furniture, Bushnell's only furniture store. M&B Furniture is a mainstay in the community and offers free delivery within 40 miles. For everything you need to furnish your new home or replenish an old one, stop by and see the fine folks at 481 West Main Street or find them on Facebook, Instagram, or the web at www.mbfurnitureinc.com. You can also call 309-772-2111. So we are ready for the third quarter of action. Six minutes on the clock, 24-2 still your score as the Brimfield Indians have opening possession. Abby Nelson out there with Madison McGrew, Callie Kramer, Katie English, and Sierra Shannon. Stolen by Callie as BPC changed into a 1-2-2 defense there. Try to stop some of the bleeding. Nelson with the ball goes right back down to English. English is going to be blocked and rebounded by Ava Hines. Kicks it over to CJ Troxel. Kappas with the ball, passes over, shot, and that one will fall. Another point for Ava Hines. 26-2. Madison McGrew with the ball, kicks it over to Callie Kramer. As they move the ball around, English back out. Drive by Kramer, that one will miss. Rebounded by Troxel. 
Swings the ball around Hare for three. That one will fall. Her second three of the game. Kennedy Hare definitely has the shooting stroke today. Madison McGrew with the ball. As they move around, almost stolen by Kappas. Now keep on moving it, trying to get any type of fast, fast passes to move this defense. They'll get a foul. Second on Ava Hines, first team. Daisy Crow and Presley Brandt in for BPC, giving Callie Kramer and Katie English a break. Four thirty-five remaining here in this third quarter. Down low, shot will be good and gets the foul. Sierra Shannon has a chance to get a three-point play here. Troxel's first, team second. Shot for Shannon. That one will miss. Rebounded by Ava Hines. Coming across is Kappas. Hair for two. That one is missed. Rebounded by Hines. Hines puts it up and in. Hines gets her ninth shot of the game. Makes it 31 to 4. As they move the ball around up to Shannon, she's going to pass it back out to Brant. Skip pass to Crow. Three pointer for Madison. That one misses. It's going to be fought for. Hare gets the ball. She'll pass over and slow it up. Kappas with it. Looks to drive. That one will miss. Rebounded by Madison. Crow with it. Moves it around. Brandt almost loses the ball there. As stolen by Kappas. Kappas misses the layup. Rebounded by Shannon. Sierra Shannon with the ball. Defense by Meyer. Daisy Crow with it. Abby Nelson going back up top. Moving around. Pass over to Brant. Crow. Crow with the three misses. It's going to be fought for, rebounded by Nelson, but it will go out of bounds as she <laughs> runs right into the referee. And that will be the media timeout. However, we'll keep it here. 31 for your score. Mueller and Fabry come in for the Indians. TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH is brought to you by Heil Enterprises. Heil Enterprises and Heil Trucking can take your product down the road near or far and offers top-notch heavy-duty truck and trailer repair. The second-generation business continues to grow and continues to support BPC Athletics. Stop by and see Danny or Travis on Route 41 south of Prairie City or call them at 309-775-3333. Also brought to you by McDonough District Hospital, McDonough District Hospital Athletic Trainers, and the MT MDH Rehabilitation Center, with locations in Bushnell and Macomb, provide expert help to Spartan student athletes in the prevention, care, and rehabilitation of all athletic injuries. Learn more at mdh.org. McDonough District Hospital, more than hospital care, a hospital caring. Also brought to you by MTC Communications. Having slow, unreliable internet just doesn't cut it in 2021. MTC Communications offers lightning-fast, reliable fiber internet, video, phone service, and camera systems to the McDonough, Henderson, and Hancock County areas. Visit mtc.crowdfiber.com to check your availability. Two fifty remaining as we come out of the COVID break. Kramer with the ball, trying to fight down, find something down low, has to pass out to Madison. Madison drives, take the shot. That one will miss. Rebounded by C.J. Troxel. 
Troxel drives the ball. Slows up, pass over. Move the ball around. Hare for three. That one will miss. Rebounded by Madison McGrew. Three pointed by Callie Kramer will miss. Rebounded this time by Alexis Mueller. As they swing the ball around, Meyer brings it up the court. That one stolen by Kramer. And she's going to. They'll say Brimfield foul. Chloe Fabry, her second team third. Madison has the ball. Moves it around. Daisy Crow down to Katie English. As they move it back up to Madison. Under two minutes remaining here in this third quarter. 31-40, your score. Daisy with it. Moves it over to Madison up top of the key. Brant with the fake. As stolen by Alexis Mueller. Ball down to Hare. Hare with the shot. Misses. Rebounded by Crow. 135 remaining here in this third quarter. Madison McGrew with it. Swings it up top to Daisy Crow. Kramer. Katie English. As Crow loses it, however, gains it right back with the help of Kramer. Finds Brant open. That one will miss. Rebounded by Meyer. As they move the ball around, shot by Troxel will miss. It's going to be rebounded by the Indians, however. Troxel with it. Tries to the corner. Swings it up top. Shot is going to be fouled by Presley Brandt. Her first. Team first. Fabry gets two shots. First shot, that will miss off the front iron. Coming in for a BPC, Sierra Shannon and Abby Nelson. As Madison and Katie will take a break. 46 seconds remaining here in this third quarter. Second shot, that one will fall for Fabry. Gets her first points of the day. Brant with it. Abby Nelson with the long shot. That one will miss. She'll come by and get her own rebound, however. Pulls it out to Callie Kramer. We'll get the ball. She fights her way down inside. Shot by Daisy. That will be a miss. Rebounded by BPC. Another shot by Kramer. Miss. Rebounded this time by Fabry. Eight seconds remaining here as Meyer brings the ball up. Four seconds. Shot. That one will miss. Going to be rebounded by Crow as they swing it out to Nelson. That will be the end of the third quarter. 32-4 to four your score. Indians up top. We'll be back right after this. We're always moving. Scratch that. We're always moving forward. But forward can sometimes look a little backwards. Or like circles. Or like nothing at all. But we never stop. We never stop. Because life never stops. It's hard to stop a train. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local country financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. Welcome back to PPC High School for the beginning of the fourth quarter, 32-4 year score, as the Brimfield Indians keep the scoring alive. 
Madison with the ball. Swings it up top to Kramer. Kramer's going to look to drive, and that one almost goes off. And it will go off. The Indians. Checking in for VPC, number 13, Presley Brandt. Presley Brandt in for the Spartans as Abby Nelson takes a break. Moving the ball around as it finds Sierra Shannon. Shannon almost loses that one. It's going to be fought for... It'll finally find its way outside as it will go out, and they'll just call it for the Indians. Five thirty-eight remaining. Bringing the ball up is Capus. Swings it down low. She's going to get around and in. Ava Hines with another shot. Makes it 34-2-4. Callie Kramer with it, moves it over to Shannon. Madison in the corner, looks to drive. About loses it, however, gets it over to Sierra. Shot by English, fouled on the way up. That one off of Ava Hines, her third. Team fourth. That one will fall. Checking in for VPC, number 32, Daisy Crow. Daisy Crow now in for the Spartans. Second shot will fall as well. Four for four at the line for Katie English. Kappas bringing the ball up. 420 remaining in this fourth quarter as that one will fall. Chloe Fabry with the points. Chloe Fabry from Ava Hines. That one will go up and miss, so it will be Brimfield ball as Abby Nelson comes back into the game. Moving the ball around as they get it down low. Fabry up top. Back to Kappas. Kappas looks to drive, and she's going to let one up. It looks like she got blocked by Madison McGrew. So rebounded by Daisy Crow. 325 remaining. Madison brings the ball up. Madison looks to drive, lets that one up. Missed. Rebounded by Ava Hines. Kappas with it. She's going to try another one, and layup will go in. Another shot for Olivia Kappas. Makes it 38-6 with three minutes remaining. Madison McGrew has the ball. Down low to Katie English. She's going to put it up. Actually passes out to Brant. Brant open will miss. It's going to be rebounded. Mueller with it. Finds Ava. However, Ava can't get a hold of it. And that one goes out of bounds. 2.39 remaining. Sarah Shannon and Callie Kramer coming in. Troxel in as well. Got a little confusion on who's in and who's not. It will be the media timeout. So nobody knew what was going on. We'll keep it here. TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH is brought to you by McDonough District Hospital. Thank you for voting McDonough District Hospital Rehabilitation Center as best of the best in McDonough County. Let their experience and dedicated sports medicine rehabilitation staff show you why MDH has been voted best of the best in 2017, 2018, 2019, and again in 2020. Three convenient locations to serve you, two in Macomb and one in Bushnell. Also brought to you by the Community News Brief. For all your local news, subscribe to the Community News Brief Weekly Edition, mailed directly to your home every Friday. As an option, you can also receive Monday and Wednesday editions by email. All this for only $42 per year or $38 per year if you are 65 or older. Single copies can be purchased at select locations in Bushnell, Colchester, and Blandonsville. 
Also brought to you by Rosie's Pizza. Rosie's Pizza offers something for everyone with pasta, sandwiches, and of course, pizza. Dine in or carry out at 458 East Main Street in Bushnell. They also deliver to Good Hope, Adair, and all points in between. For delivery, call 309 772 2101. Three pointer. That one will miss by Sierra. Rebounded by Kramer. 216 remaining is that three pointer by Matt Abby Nelson. Will miss. Bring it up to the floor is Meyer. Skip pass over. Back to Meyer. Over. And that one will fall. Nice possession there by Brimfield. Gets the points is Fabry. Oh, Forty to six, your score. Presley Brandt with it. One forty-five remaining. Abby Nelson has it. Brandt with the ball. Finds Daisy Crow. As they swing the ball around, as it'll be a push. So Chloe Fabry with the foul. Team fifth, her third. Move the ball around as Brant gets it. Long shot will miss. Rebounded by Meyer. One minute remaining in this game. 40 to six, your score. Troxel swings it over to Hare. Hare with a long two will miss. Rebounded by Nelson. Nelson on the fast break. As she pulls up, passes over to Brandt. Swings it over to Daisy Crow. 38 seconds remaining. She goes back to Crow. That one's going to be tipped. Going to be taken by the Indians. As she's going to be pushed in the back by Daisy Crow on the floor. 26 seconds remaining. <laughs> you can hear Dwayne starting to crack up down there. Sarge must have said something to him. <laughs> so with 10 seconds remaining, stolen by the Indians, another shot opportunity, and she'll be fouled, blocking foul. But it should be running clock. Guess not. So Sarah Shannon, her second, team third. Shooting two, Chloe Fabry. First one will miss. She gets set up. Second one will also miss. Rebounded by Meyer. Meyer will throw it up to Troxel. Rebounded by Meyer. Stolen by. Stolen by Sierra Shannon. So that will be the final. 40 to 6, your final. Take a quick break to get the final stats tallied up, and we'll be back here for the JoJo's Gaming Parlor post-game show. JoJo's Gaming Parlor offers the best gaming experience in the McDonough County area. Stop in for a cold drink and a chance to take home a nice water cash while you're at it. Also on game nights, check out the TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH Events live on the big screens. Come join your friends at JoJo's located at 776 North Cole Street in Bushnell and cheer the Spartans on to victory. We'll be back right after this. MDH has committed to having a top-notch OB-GYN unit. The new facility, the Dolores Cater Schweitzer Women's Center, this is a quality facility that the patients need to match the quality of care. And then we also have a new clinic, which is state-of-the-art. And here at McDonough, we have a team. And everybody feels like they're a part of the successes that we have. We have a strong team in our office and in labor and delivery. You will get the best care at McDonough District. Welcome back to the JoJo's Game Impeller post-game show here on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. So, uh, final stats for the Brimfield Indians. Olivia Kappas with 11. Ava Hines with 11. Six for Kennedy Hare on two threes. Five for Chloe Fabry. Four for Sienna Meyer. And three for CJ Troxel. For the Spartans, four for Katie English. Four for four at the free throw line. And two for Sierra Shannon. 
So that pretty much wraps it up here at BBC High School for today. I'd like to thank everybody for watching the two JV games that we had. A little bit of a different mix instead of a JV and a varsity. Two JV games, both from Brimfield. I'd like to thank you all for watching. A great game overall for both for uh, all four teams as we get set up for two games that happen today. And we'd hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.